From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Debate continues on that appeals court decision upholding a Supreme Court ruling from last year that allows Bahamian men to pass on citizenship to their children born to non-Bahamian mothers in the Bahamas, regardless of whether they were born out of wedlock. Attorney General Carl Bethel has already indicated they intend to go all the way to the Privy Council with this. I'm sure that the Bahamian people will not accept any judgment on a, on a matter that doesn't come from the highest court in the land, which is the Privy Council. The Attorney General says despite the ruling, it remains an open question to be determined by the highest court. We will advance the same positions that we have advanced to date in the Privy Council, that the existing Constitution, as originally written, as originally supported by the Bahamian people on two occasions, ought to prevail. If the Privy Council upholds the ruling, the AG says changes will have to be made to the law, otherwise the law will remain the same. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Government officials now believe there's a chance the current state of emergency could be lifted sometime in August, depending on the coronavirus numbers. Fifteen confirmed cases reported for Monday, 13 in the capital, two in San Salvador. Hospital numbers dropped to 34, with three in the ICU. 244 total deaths now, a 93-year-old New Providence man is the latest confirmed. The Bahamas gets another gift from the United States, $6 million worth of boats and equipment for the Defense Force. National Security Minister Dame says this is good for both countries. There's a mutual interest here. We're neighbors, and uh, we have to work together to protect our borders. That's the only way we can effectively address the problems associated with transnational organized crimes such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, illegal poaching, you know, and, and gun trafficking and, and other forms of, of, of crime. The Senate continues to debate on the budget, expected to get through the exercise by the end of the week. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s, 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable. The sea is three feet or less. The next time is a high around 8 o'clock this evening. Thursday's forecast, some clouds, some sun. Highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. Pop-up storms now in the forecast. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, the Tribune, the people's newspaper. World News Headlines. World Health Organization officials now reporting that the new Delta coronavirus variant has now showed up in close to 100 countries. It has a higher transmissibility rate, and there's increasing concern this could lead to another world outbreak down the road. One month exactly until the Olympic Games open in Tokyo, preparations continue. IOC officials remain confident they can pull this off. The pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong takes another blow. The last pro-democracy newspaper there says it's closing. Six employees were arrested recently, accused of violating China's new national security law in place there. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Watch the soccer on TV. That major international tournament continues in Europe. Major League Baseball has a full schedule tonight. Jazz on the Marlins against the Blue Jays again at home. NBA playoffs game one in the East Finals tonight. The Hawks and Milwaukee will play the first game in Milwaukee. DeAndre and the Suns, they lead 2-0 in the West. That series now shifting to L.A. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories 
in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.